it's actually funny, I remember basically I was just like in college, like whatever, like doing the dorm room thing, like making music and stuff. And I get a call from Adrian one day, who's my current manager, and he just just all of a sudden just exploded everything on top of me. So he was like, Alright, I want you to, you know, do this. Alright, you're gonna start playing shows all of a sudden. And I, I literally I've never played a show in my life, you know? And all of a sudden, you know, I was just getting shows, I was like, what do I do? You know, what do I do? And so I literally went out to the Guitar Center, bought a controller, and just for a week, just like figured it out, you know? And so I remember like, you know, that's pretty much how I started. Like literally just, I got thrown into it and I had to learn really quick. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm still doing Ableton sets, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna eventually, you know, do CDJing sets, but that's, yeah, it's, it's been definitely a ride. So definitely a very sudden thing, so. Yeah, I mean, no, totally. I mean, it's it's definitely you. You know, after playing so many shows, you definitely kind of understand what you know the crowd kind of wants in general. And um, yeah, a lot of times it's you know finding a balance between like what you think is really cool, what they what they want to hear, and you know you definitely meet in the middle somewhere. But yeah, being a college kid, I mean, you know, it's, it's definitely just a young market. Like everyone, everyone's young. You know, what I mean, like DJs are young, the crowd is young. You know, we we all understand each other. We we know what we're here for. So. Yeah, no, funny, like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan, like, Juicy J, like, will always be, like, one of my favorite artists ever, you know? Fans make a dance, make a dance, these cheeks clap, let's get it, and they use it, hey. You know, and, um, no, it, it definitely, it definitely comes through, like, but especially with the trap thing, I think it just, it's coming through everywhere, it's not just particularly Atlanta, it's just kind of a worldwide phenomenon pretty much nowadays, so, um, I mean, would I say that I like particularly like stick out as an Atlanta playing trap? Like, no. But um, but just like nowadays, like I'm, you know, I'm proud for Atlanta to of like creating that sound. You know, what I mean, like we did. You know, I'm we're saying it. I'm saying it. Atlanta, Atlanta made trap. Like we did it. You know, so I'm 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 definitely like you know stoked to see it like everywhere. So it's cool. Um, like I said, I do Ableton sets. So um. I definitely play, you know, mostly house music and stuff, and I, I pick a lot of songs. I'm, I'm pretty picky about, like, the songs I play, so, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll put a lot of time and make sure, like, I'll, I love every song I play. play like a passive song each song I play like is something I'm like really into because you know I just I'm like I said I'm just really picky about it um, so yeah but mostly house music um, just I feel like that's just kids kids just love that nowadays you know it's just definitely the trend what I play is like you know it's it's definitely super dependent on everything like the gig like everything the city um, if you're playing like a nightclub, you know, tend to go a little house here. You got, you got like really scope. You got to literally like look at your crowd, see what's going on, you know, and you got to understand who you're playing for, you know, and that and that, and that obviously makes a difference. Um, if you're if I'm playing like a like a venue where everyone's there to see the artists, you know, they're not there for the night, they're not there for the experience, like necessarily like, you know, just to go out. They're like really there to see who's playing. Then you know I'll definitely make a point to throw in some you know originals like maybe stuff that people came to hear you know um, so it, it definitely definitely matters you know definitely matters you gotta it definitely matter like just the ratio of fans like people there to see you you know it it's you know just DJ life you know you just gotta gotta know what's going on just what I would say just production wise is probably like the key thing because I play like I like to play a lot of originals uh, like in my sets I'll play a lot of unreleased stuff um, like you know huge amounts of unreleased stuff um, so I think that kinda like I like to play like very ahead of my catalog I think that I mean I'll play songs that no one's heard you know um, so I think that by itself just differentiates me because you know as a producer I make songs and no one's ever heard of them before and I, I like to play them out um, 
So, yeah, I think I've been making some cool tunes lately. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll get eager and play them out before they're ready because I'm just so excited about it. They don't sound too good, but I go back in the studio, I, I figure it out. And so I, I think whenever, you know, you come to like a gig, you kind of, you definitely hear like what I've been doing. You know, it's not, you're not just, you're not, you're not just hearing songs that everyone's playing. You're, you're hearing just what I've been doing as an artist and, and just, you know, the sound I've been developing. So, what's up? I'm Popeska, uh, and this is my life as a DJ.